Hi there. We're going to take a look at solving a homogeneous second order differential equation. We're given an initial value. So I hope this helps as you're kind of working through your differential equations. Um, so let's jump right in. Anytime we're de dealing with a second order, we want to start with letting y be e to the rx. We're using, we're playing off of the properties and the derivative of E. So we'll go ahead and use also that the first derivative would be R E to the X and the second derivative would be R squared E to the R X. Now let's make those substitutions. So I've got two times Y double prime. So that's two times R squared E to the R X minus seven times y prime, which would be r e to the rx, and then plus three times y, which would be e to the rx, and that equals zero. Now, we can see that each of the terms has an e to the rx, so we will factor that out. Got 2r squared minus 7r plus 3. And then, of course, we know that e to the rx can equal zero. So we're going to solve 2r squared minus 7r plus 3. And we can factor that. So 2r minus 1 and r minus 3. We get that r is a half or r is 3. Okay, let's use that then to write our solution. And that is that y equals c1 e to the 1 half x plus c2 times e to the 3x. Okay, now once you have your general solution, then you can use your initial values. So we're going to use that y of 0 equals 0. So y is 0 and x is 0. I got 0 equals c1 e to the 1 half times 0 plus c2 times e to the 3 times 0. Okay, e to the 0 is going to be 1. I'm left with 0 equals c1 plus c2. I don't really have anything to go with there, so I'm going to go use the other value I'm given. So we'll use that y prime of 0 equals 2. So let's plug in, well, we're going to need the derivative of this. So y prime is one half c1 e to the one half x plus three c2 e to the three x. And now we can plug in our two for y prime and our zero for x. All right. So of course, again, zero to e to the zero is one. So I'm left with two equals one half c1 plus three c2. I'm going to just go ahead and multiply by two to clear that fraction. That way I don't have to play around with the fraction anymore. Okay. Now, friends, I don't have the solution yet, but I do have two equations with two variables. And I know I can use substitution or elimination with those. So I'm going to use elimination. Stacking my two equations. And then I'm going to just subtract the two equations from each other. I'm left with 4 equals 5C2. So I know then that C2 equals 4 fifths. Using a little substitution here. I know that C1 now is negative four fifths. So I'm going to take my solution that had these constants, these uh, coefficients, and I'm going to substitute those values in there. I've got y equals c1 is negative four fifths e to the negative one half x, and c2 is four fifths e to the three x. Now, if you want to factor out the four fifths, you definitely can do that, and it might probably be easier than if we write it as e to the 3x minus e to the 1 half x. So I hope this helps with a second order 
um, differential equation with an initial value. As always, if you have questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section. I'll be glad to help out in any way that I can. Bye for now.